Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another unboxing edition of Talking About Records. We're going to dive in to this week's shipment. As always, I'd like to thank you for the continued support, whether you're local or not. Really appreciate everybody tuning in for uh, videos on the channel, including the unboxing videos. This is new inventory that will roll into the NTX Vinyl local shops over the weekend. Um, there is some inventory here that will be allocated to pre-orders, but there's also a lot of stuff that will be extra. So if you see something that you like, see something you're interested in, by all means, get in touch with us. The best way to do that is just first check out the unboxing link. So you can go to shop.ntxvinyl.com slash unboxing. I will put that on the, uh, on the screen and in the description. Shop.ntxfinal.com slash unboxing. And that's going to take you to a curated page where the vast majority of this um, will be available. <clears throat> we only ship to the U.S., so please keep that in mind if you're international. So if you're in the U.S. and you see anything you like, definitely hit up the link. Shop.ntxfinal.com slash unboxing. And if it's in stock online, if we've got extras, it will be there. Let's kick off with a fabulous album that is Blind Melon's self-titled record, um, obviously featuring the big hit No Rain, but man, this band is so much more than that. Go check out Change, go check out I Wonder, go check out Sleepy House, Drive Time, fantastic album. Love Blind Melon, huge fan, got a couple copies of that coming in, so if you need one, by all means, let us know. This is a 45. I don't know what this is. This is uh, seems to have slipped in here. That's not something I order. It happens every now and then. All right, what else do we got? This is Paramore After Laughter. I believe this is a colored vinyl edition. I want to say it's on silver vinyl, silver or white. I'll have to check um, specifics on that one. All right, how about some essential Johnny Cash? Two LPs, 28 classic tracks, remastered from the original sources. Can't beat a little Johnny Cash. Got a bunch more of this Paramore record in. If you need a copy of Paramore, by all means, hit us up. We've got, it looks like about five or five or seven copies of that one. Have not had that one in stock. Oh, here's another record. This is Madonna's Immaculate Collection, uh, double LP. 1990 album of greatest hits includes Vogue, Like a Prayer, Material Girl. There you go. Cool uh, compilation, greatest hits from Madonna. That is box number one. At least the boxes within the boxes, that is. There you go. One mini box down. I will keep it rolling right along. Try and get through. I've got four boxes, four big boxes to get through today. So it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too terribly long. Like I mentioned, priority goes to my local customers and my local shops, but if you're looking for something, you see it here, and you're in the U.S., by all means, hit us up, hit the link, and reach out if it's not on the link. All right, this is My Chemical Romance, The Black Parade. This one has not been in stock in a while. Ooh, this is one I've been looking forward to, Fleetwood Mac Rumors. Obviously, this is the... Uh, the 2LP version, 45 RPM, pressed at Palace. This has the reputation of being the absolute best sounding, best cut vinyl version of this album. So if you need the uh, definitive version of Rumors, this I believe is it. That's what I'm told. That's what I've read. I cannot wait to hear it. I've never heard that version. I've got a couple of, a couple of those in. They're not cheap, um, you know, but apparently worth it because, you know, it's kind of an important album. So... All right, Panic at the Disco, Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die. Got some copies of that in. Here's some more of the, uh, the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance. Some more of the Panic at the Disco. And it looks like a couple more of the Blind Melon Records. So there you go. Another box down. I know we've got some, uh, some new releases in here. Most of this thus far has been catalog titles, stuff that's come out recently or stuff that's been reissued. Um, I will say inventory and allocation of new vinyl is starting to catch up a little bit. It feels pretty good. There's a lot of, uh, you know, like that Madonna record, for example, or even the Blind Melon record, stuff that's either staying in stock, which means they've pressed enough, or stuff that's coming back in stock more uh, frequently, which is really great to see. I'm not saying pressing plants are in the clear and they're all caught up, but it's they seem to be turning a little bit of a corner, which is nice. Some more of that essential Johnny Cash. Such a fabulous album. I'm going to look at the track list on this. It's got four sides. It's got everything. You can see 
all the early stuff. Big, ri Big River, Get a Rhythm, obviously Walk the Line, and then it goes all the way through his career there. So love that, Johnny Cash. That's cool. All right, self-titled record from Rage. If you don't have that in your collection, you should definitely fix that. This is a, uh, um, let's see, this is probably a pretty recent 2015 reissue on Rage. More of the My Chemical Romance. Very, very cool. I'm glad to have that Rage back in stock. It's uh, been a bit elusive lately, but it just depends on the distributor. I, I buy records from these days about four or five different distributors. Um, the vast, the majority of those in the U.S. Some stuff I'll source from overseas. Uh, it just kind of depends what it is. Depends what is in stock. All right, so here we go to box number two of this week's unboxing event. This situated. All right, Let's see what we got here. Important tip is always to take it out first, otherwise it's really difficult. Let's kick off box number two with. Ah, Belladonna. This has not been in stock in a while. Really nice to see this one come back. This is a 1981 multi-platinum album. Obviously featuring Stop Dragging My Heart Around with Tom Petty, Leather and Lace with Don Henley, and Edge of 17. 180 gram remastered vinyl. Um, I haven't seen reviews on this one. My gut says it's probably pretty legit because I think most of their stuff is. This is, again, this is uh, made in Germany. Um, I'm interested to check that uh, check that version out. What else we got? Oh, this was a cool one. This is Carol King and James Taylor live at the Troubadour. Um, this is a 2017 performance, um, and it's got a number of the hits. Obviously, you've got a friend and Fire and Rain. And I feel the Earth move. Lacquer's cut by Bernie Grumman at Bernie Grumman Mastering, and this is a, a quality record pressing. So top notch stuff here in regards to. Uh, this Carol King and James Taylor live at the Troubadour. That looks like a cool record. Interested to check that one out as well. Speaking of great records and great sounding records, Tom Petty, Tom Petty's Wildflowers and all the rest. This is the three LP set, uh, 25 tracks. Cannot recommend this enough. It's got the original album and then it's got what was intended to be um, the uh, the other disc that was never uh, that was never put out until it was reissued. Got more of the Madonna Immaculate Collection. And then we've got some more copies of the Petty. Wildflowers is just one of those for me personally, um, an absolute must own. It is my favorite Tom Petty record. And that's saying something because I love the whole catalog, but it doesn't really get better than Wildflowers for me. And in fact, Tom himself even said it was his best work. I think he admittedly, uh, he admitted that himself. And I don't disagree. I think the combination of him with Rick Rubin and the vibe and the time and the place just stands alone in his catalog. It's something completely unique. All right, this has been a long time coming. This is two decades of Seether. This is their greatest hits, uh, Vicennial, I guess you found out that. Uh, 20 tracks, two LP set. Um, this has been delayed and delayed and delayed. So I'm finally, finally getting in copies of it. Comes out this week. I think it's probably been pushed back at least a couple months, maybe more than that. Uh, I've got some more of the Belladonna here. I'm glad to glad to get some of that Seether in because a bunch of pre-orders for that Seether record and just have not been able to fill them because it just keeps getting pushed. But all right, and then we got more of Wildflowers coming in stock. So uh, again, the vast majority of everything that you've seen thus far is going to be up on the unboxing link. So if there's something you're interested in. Um, would like to grab a copy, by all means, hit up the unboxing link. Shop.ntxvinyl.com slash unboxing. That's where they'll be listed. And if it's not there, if it's there and it's listed as unavailable, that means we don't have extras of it and they were all allocated to customers already. Tip typically what the case is. All right, we've got more of the uh, Carol King and James Taylor. What do we got here? We have got Kurt Vile. This is a new release. Um, this is the indie exclusive on translucent emerald vinyl. Um, I'm interested to check this out. I've heard good things about this record. I have not listened to any of the uh, the lead singles, any of the early stuff, so I'm going to uh, kind of wait and stream that one. He's one that I have, uh, have been just starting to inch my way into, and I've t I'm told that I will love his stuff. And so it's one of those where I just need to, uh, 
take a dive. I know he originally or, or at some point played with the War on Drugs, which I'm a big fan of. Um, so it's a pretty good chance I would dig his stuff. I just have never gotten around to it, even though I've heard, like I said, heard great things. So interested to see how that new record sounds. Definitely have a, a several pre-orders on that one. Customers will be picking up locally. All right, what else we got? More of the Madonna, and then it looks like more of the Seether record. This is, uh, I believe, a colored vinyl version of the Seether. I'll need to check, though. There was, I think there was more than one version of those. It's hard to keep track, especially on the ones that, uh, that get pushed back month after month. But, uh, again, people have been waiting on that Seether record for a while. It's really cool. All right, we are down another box. Let's move on to box number three. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see what box number three contains. All right, we have got a classic album by The Doors. This is uh, original stereo mixes on 180 gram Rhino Doors reissue. Can't go wrong with The Doors, especially that self-titled record. Here we go. We've got Jay-Z, In My Lifetime, Volume 1, Def Jam. Check out the track list. It's a cool record. I haven't had that one in stock, so... Got a few copies of the Jay-Z in. And what we got here? Got some Maiden. Maiden Killers. Check that out. I believe this is an import version. It's a little pricey if I remember correctly, but it's just been out of stock for so long. I figure, you know what? Even if it's a little pricey, I'm still going to grab them because you just don't see them that often. There's so many different Maiden albums, but the uh, the core studio albums, the classic ones, they're they're hard to come across. Obviously, originals are really hard to come across, but even the reissues, when they go out of stock, it's kind of like Metallica. You know, they'll go out of they'll go out of stock, and uh, you know the prices will start inching up on all the remasters even because people just always want those records. I know what this is. That's Pearl Jam versus. This is the uh, 180 gram audio file reissue. Um, Great album from Pearl Jam, their second record, of course. Wet Leg, this is a new release. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is limited edition, transparent yellow vinyl, the debut album. This has been getting a lot of attention. I'd be curious to uh, see what that's all about. Uh, the Surefire Soul Ensemble, this was a special order from a customer, I'm pretty sure, on Coal Mine Records. Bob Marley Legend, speaking of classic albums. If you need a uh, great place to start on Bob Marley, this is a wonderful one. Love Bob Marley. Looks like we've got some Lumineers. Still digging on their latest record. I like this record too, Cleopatra. This is one of the only ones in the catalog that I don't have um, on vinyl. This is a great record though. I love Ophelia. is a great song. The Gun Song is fun. Angela, um, Long Way From Home. Great, great record. I like all the Lumineers records. Nothing fancy about the Lumineers. They just get the job done. Good songs, simple production. One more of those Pearl Jam records. You need a copy of Versus. Got several of those. I think I've already got that in stock, anyways, but can never have enough. I'm always fearful of stuff going out of stock now. So when there's like classic albums, whether it's, you know, that Bob Marley or maybe it's The Doors or maybe it's that Pearl Jam, whatever it is. I just, I'm fearful of them disappearing and just being gone for a long time. So I'm making a conscious effort to stock those types of things. Got more of the Jay-Z. We have got more of that Palace Pressed Fleetwood Mac Rumors. So we've got more of the Doors, more Rumors, more Pearl Jam. Here's something different. We got some Crew. Yeah, that's right. We got the Crew, Too Fast for Love. Really nice reissues. I'm pretty sure that's a 180 gram reissue on Too Fast for Love. Some copies of that one. And it looks like one more copy of Versus. So, all right. Let me get these organized. Getting, making our way down to uh, into the third box. We got one more box. Not a huge order today. This is pretty typical for uh, any given week. We didn't do a pop-up sale earlier this week. If you're not 
not in tune to the pop-up sales. We do those, uh, we've been doing them once a week for a while. We've kind of got sporadic with it, hence the name pop-up. Um, but you can check those out on, uh, on Facebook, sometimes on Instagram. I'm considering doing one here on uh, YouTube. Just haven't really gotten around to it. But you may see one of those pop-up sales in the future. Oh, look at this. This is not even records. This is a whole box of sleeves. We're gonna end it off with sleeves. There you go. An entire box of outer sleeves. I just put up a video yesterday about uh, 20, 20 tips for record collectors. And number one on the list was put your records in clear outer sleeves. So there you go. We practice what we preach. There's a whole bunch of sleeves. We are selling these in uh, one of our shops now. Don't sell them online, but if you need extra sleeves, you can get them anywhere, just about. I hate to send people to Amazon and all that, but sometimes it's just easiest. Uh, you can pick them up at most local record stores as well. We do sell them at our Highland Village shop. I don't have these over in Frisco or North Richland Hills yet, but uh, probably will at some point. So there you go. That's uh, this week's unboxing. Again, if you saw anything um, in the records that you're interested in, shop.ntxvinyl.com slash unboxing. That's where you want to go. If you don't see it, um, feel free to hit us up, info at ntxvinyl.com, or you can also message us on Facebook or Instagram, and we'll do our best to get right back to you. So thanks as always for watching. Really appreciate the support as always. Stick around the channel. Here comes some more videos. We'll see you guys next time.